Well, good day to you, everyone. I hope you're having a great, great Wednesday or Thursday or maybe Friday when you're watching this video. Tucker Carlson has uh, shared a couple of thoughts after his um, bizarre termination from Fox as we find out even more information that I find raises more questions than answers right now. I think there's a lot of speculation on to <clears throat> exactly why Tucker Carlson was fired and I think all of it's valid right now because we don't know. We don't know the X reason. I mean, Fox's ratings have plummeted. Their stock plummeted. Uh, uh, you know, th this is just obviously an all around huge L for Fox. But I have a feeling that sometimes the answer is just a lot more obvious you know sometimes it's this what is occam's razor sometimes the simplest answer is actually the answer i'm going to go through all this new information with you and uh we're going to take a look and then you let me know in the comment section down below what you think uh, and huge shout out by the way mother's day is coming up this is my coffee company we're completely apolitical we roast our coffee fresh on demand available in whole bean or ground we put together some amazing gift boxes for mother's day promo code mom will save you 10 percent we sell out every time we do these, so make sure you shop early. We have the uh, we have a really nice gift box here uh, with sea salt milk chocolate caramels, which we have now, a coffee brand coffee, um, pretzel twists, chocolate covered espresso beans, and our Colombian coffee. Then we have the favorite kid edition, which steps it up with some yogurt covered pretzels and some wide variety of other candies. And if you know what your mom likes to drink, down below, we have a customized option where you can build your own gift box. This is about what 60% of people do because you know if they like light roast or dark roast, you can put your grab your signature coffee here. You can put a couple of coffees in there. Maybe they don't like candy. We've got all of our flavored coffees, obviously our strawberries and cream, blueberry cobbler. These are really, really good sellers. We've got real cacao cocoa tea. We've got premium candy and snacks that you can add. Promo code MOM. Get that order in today at the link in the description. Support local business. Take care of your mom. Get your shopping done. By the way, it comes in a really nice uh, glossy box ready to gift. You don't even have to worry about wrapping it. So there's a lot of information going on around. Thank you, by the way, for supporting me and my company here. Um, we're growing rapidly. Why Fox News Brass might be unnerved after seeing the ratings in the aftermath of Tucker's firing. So let's talk about some of the ratings. Although... I, I don't suspect, I mean, you'd have to be a moron to think that the ratings wouldn't drop, right? The firing of right-wing network's most popular host, the extremist, this is according to CNN, Tucker Carlson not only depressed the channel's own primetime ratings money, but breathed life into a smaller competitor, Newsmax. When Brian Kilmeade filled on Wednesday evening for Carlson, who spent years in the, as the unquestionable ratings king at Fox News, the channel drew an average of 2.6 million viewers, and 294,000 in the key advertiser coveted 25 to 54 demographic. According to Nielsen Media Research, that's very good by normal cable standards and even good by Fox News standards. But in the context of the numbers of his predecessor, it was a notable dip. And also, I want to point out, this was the first day. So obviously, lots of people wanted to tune in to see who Fox would replace him with, what Fox would, would say, if they would say anything about it. Uh, I suspect last night's ratings were an even bigger drop. If I wasn't recording this video at 10 a.m., I'd probably have more information. I'll probably follow it up later. That's why you want to leave a like and subscribe down below so you don't miss anything. Compare Kilmeade's Monday ratings to previous start of the weeks where Carlson helmed the hour. When Carlson hosted, he averaged 3.2 million viewers. On April 10th, Carlson averaged 3.1 million viewers. On an April 3rd, 3.2. So very, very consistent. Now, to be fair, no one expected Kilby to be able to match Carlson in ratings, especially after only one night. Carlson's ratings dominance was where he had 8 p.m. perch. Even longtime host Sean Hannity found himself placing second to Carlson. What's most significant, however, is Monday's ratings data revealed by of a dramatic audience swell at Newsmax. Unlike anything the channel has seen in recent memory outside of the broadcasts of Donald Trump rally. The smaller right-wing television network with primetime helmed by uh, Greg Kelly, I'm not taking any CNN's editorials here, and ex-Fox News ho host Eric Bowling, or Bowling told number, saw its numbers explode in the hours following, following Carlson's ouster. 
Last Monday, for instance, Newsmax averaged just 146,000 total viewers at 8 p.m. I think I may have more viewers than that in an hour here on YouTube or Twitter or, or um, I'm sorry, or Rumble. I'm thankful for that. Last night, the audience was more than triple with an average of 531,000 viewers. So when people on the left are always saying, ah, right, people on the right are too lazy to, to boycott. And also I've got an awesome update on Bud Light following up this video. They're wrong. That's a huge increase. That's like a life-changing amount of increased viewership. Uh, that's the kind of the kind of viewership increase that allows Newsmax to expand, grow. And I suspect, by the way, that will continue because, I mean, Tucker's not coming back, right? Um, what's, what's interesting, though, is where this gets a little, where the mystery around Tucker's firing gets a little odd. And I, I have a personal theory of it. And you might poo-poo it. You might say, like, yeah, right, bro. That's not why. Um, I got a weird feeling about it. Um, so Fox News has a secret oppo file to keep Tucker Carlson in check, sources say. Fox News has their possession of a dossier of alleged dirt on Tucker Carlson should he go after the network in the wake of his departure. Eight sources at and close to the network tell Rolling Stone. Again, Rolling Stone is a left-wing garbage media outlet that spread hilarious fake news about ERs being overflowed because people were having horse paste, which never happened. So just remember, Rolling Stone is garbage. When Fox announced Carlson's departure on Monday, the network presented the separation as amicable. But according to one former on-air for Fox personality, the anchor and some of the channel's top execs are parting ways on literally the worst and messiest possible terms. Indeed, in private communications reached last month as part of the Dominion Fox lawsuit, the now-fired Fox host gossiped about such execs as hating us, claiming uh, she was covertly working against him and other hosts. But if Carlson's attempts to torch the network he's leaving, Fox is prepared, the sources say. Eight people familiar with the situation tell Rolling Stone the Fox News and its communications department long led the notoriously aggressive, long led by the notorious aggressives Irina Brignat, Briganti, has assembled damaging information about Carlson. One such, one source with knowledge calls it an oppo file. Two sources add that Fox is prepared to disclose some of its contents if execs suspect that Carlson is coming after the network. The file includes internal complaints regarding workplace conduct, disparaging comments about management and colleagues, and allegations that the now former primetime host created a toxic work environment. Three of the sources say, by the way, none of those things would damage his actual reputation. I don't think. By the way, I am of the opinion all of these big news people uh, we're going to talk about now a, a very bad, you know, potential lawsuit between um, between Candace Owens and Steven Crowder. That's just bad, 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 bad all around for the space. Looks bad for both of them. Um, but I also believe that most of these like pampered media personalities with makeup departments, they're probably all nightmares. I'm guessing. I mean, that's left wing, right wing, middle wing. Any of these people that are worth $50 million or more that have assistants, that have all this stuff, they're probably all insufferable. Sure, people have anecdotes about how nice they were to them, but come on. I am certain that most of these people are probably terrible, uh, at least to work with. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, you know, a network spokesperson denied the existence of a file on Carlson, so they have a f allegedly a file on Tucker Carlson that they're threatening to basically release if he uh, criticizes the network. Now, we all know that there were, by the way, these text messages that came out, uh, you know, Tucker Carlson's vulgar offensive messages about colleagues helped seal his fate at Fox News. These are text messages that were released, um, that were released, I'm sorry, became a uh, public record due to the Dominion lawsuit. And, you know, I didn't see a ton in this article that, you know, was blowing my mind. Um, there were messages about Trump that I don't think would necessarily play awesome with his base, where like he said he hated him, he, he wanted him out of office, or he couldn't wait till he was out of office. 
all this kind of stuff where um, with Trump's base, that's not Trump's base also likes Tucker as far as I know. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comment section down below. But that's probably not going to to play very well. Um, and what's interesting is there's obviously a lot of criticism about upper management in those messages and stuff like that that you can read. Um, you know, but Tucker, for what it's worth, uh, says that retirement is going great so far. Uh, you see Tucker Carlson has broken his silence after his ouster from Fox News. Quote, retirement is going great so far, the 53-year-old star um, told the DailyMail.com as he left his beachside mansion in Boca Grande, Florida, on Tuesday night. Carlson was all smiles as he rode in a golf cart alongside his wife of more than three decades, Susan Andrews. Photos published by the DailyMail.com show. Quote, I haven't eaten dinner with my wife on a weeknight in seven years, Carlson told the news outlet. When press first plans for the future, Carlson joked, appetizers plus entree before the father of four darted off in a golf cart. I mean, as far as I know, as far as what's being reported, Tucker's getting paid out his massive salary to literally not come into work because that's a contract. So probably pretty nice, you know, for, for a couple of weeks or a couple of months, somebody who's working six, seven days a week can literally get paid to not go in and not feel the responsibility to uh, go in and feel like he's missing his show. Um, you know, one thing that Fox did rob him of, though, is, you know, his chance to say goodbye to his audience, which... I'm sure really sticks in his craw. Um, and that's part of the reason you see these articles that him and international news reader Don Lamon from CNN have actually hired the exact same lawyer. I suspect my, my suspicion is that they want out of their contracts or they're going to try to get more money out of them because with Tucker, he's, he can't go back to work while he's under contract anyway. Um, so, you know, I don't know what he wants there in particular, but I'm sure he's uh, he's angry with Fox. By the way, Fox lost $500 million in value after announcing that Tucker Carlson was leaving. And if we look at the stock today, it's recovered a little bit, but, you know, it is still massively down. Uh, here's the Tucker drop on April 24th, and it just hasn't recovered since then. So here's the other thing. In an anecdote, here's what I think. In an anecdote, there was where Rupert Murdoch's wife called Tucker Carlson a gift from God or a messenger from God or something like that. To which Rupert Murdoch, this is alleged, responded by breaking up with his girlfriend over email. And this was not that long ago. So sometimes men being prideful, I think that could have played into it too. Rupert Murdoch didn't like that his girlfriend liked Tucker better, so he fired. I mean, you're a 92-year-old billionaire. You don't even care about money anymore. I'd be interested to hear what you all think in the comment section down below happen. Don't forget to check out the link to the Mother's Day gift boxes, promo code MOM. You can save today. Get it in the mail now. Uh, you don't even have to be able, you know, you won't need to wrap it. I've got you totally covered. You can take one of our pre-builds or you can build your own. If And by the way, we have T. 15 different organic teas, and we also have cocoa. So if they're not a coffee head, you can still get them a gift box. Check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll talk to you again real soon.